Praise the Lord. I have standing beside me on my right, Madam Taibatu Mudupe Ishola. Had an accident January 2020 and had a head injury, leaving her with residual ringing sensation in her head since then. On Friday, she got her miracle. And you know, I look go. And you just look go. Oh, look on me, what is of me and Modupe? Lie back to Modupe Shola. Mojamus Lumi. Lati Kere me. To one year, your logo con, yes, who are Mary. Nibba Tiba Bawa was in Mushin in nineteen ninety four. A lesson, y'all, I be on Nick Bagbo, Moni on Nick Bagbo, Nimi, Latin Bano, Mosin, Tessi, why do you see the Acoco, ye, Ebami, you know, I look go. Oh, Tom, me, why city by me, I shall lay in me, or do to Koya, Sunday by none. Near Jokar, oh, Shukini, or do, I lost it by Gada. In Tokuro, Lemotimari, I want to see this in Kansu, Bamu Bala, Rubaka, and Niki Oku. Because ye ye, lay ye lay ye, and lost it by God and got a day. Motto, wa, motto, joy ye, O Jamisi, ya no. Igwe lady, Mode Wakoroque. Ah, Tini, Jusha, Juman, who law, Motto Wakosa, Tirela. I will make fun like their law, and me, I tell one more, mommy. Modupe law, Lorum, you are Julie, me, wa, and one more, more, I tell a little to buy me law, one wa lay. I won't far up by a minute or no, you move far up. So, Bombo do call our law, no, 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 that's it by him, but he lost your speech to Kakiri, but he yell for love for a one, I won't, or ye, to repair Jeff for you. Or speak to our family, or call me, or speak to KG, Trinity, or speak to know what to buy me. Must he saw for love for one event, she buy, me or Jotty, or my wife's divine, and me any man law. She won't need satellites in Lee. My was satellite, and we are long in my law. When you might burn or say, and you are long, let me wish you what. Nobody more deal set our war. A polo ball, the yiddy woe, Ari woe, go bar, go barry mimu. She won't much out for I dare, most of one could ever make Badura, I run my Badura, I balak by me. She won't do polo or long, or jaw, I like me see, dear Wasibi, the Baba Washi party, I do that, old men. Di ori ya she she, baba ame nu kon, mani emi ni o. O tu di a a joy Friday a no, baba tu fe beri adura, bo she beri si ba adura ye, baba tu fe koti a si ba adura kupo. A ko ti so rollo nu ra ra, o tu fe nu kon ni pa ori ye, a a mani emi gon gon ni ani no o rollo nu mo wa ni hi o, rati mi olua di rati mi mi le su tele. Mambo Bressy soon. Masson lost on Masson Lale, I will do that. Mamma, oh, gal. You are not by me. Oh, dear, make your cool because ye ye. In the matter, you shall ya no alone, and you do I no go. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Ah, uh, Mamma is a Thai bat, Mudupe Shola. She gave her life to Christ year nineteen. Came to Mushin to minister. She had the word of God and she gave her life to Christ. Uh, the problem that brought her to, you know, come outside tonight is to testify to the glory of God. On the 5th of January 2020, uh, she came to the combined school, came back home together with her grandchildren, about six of them, were in, had an accident. And since then, she has been having a kind of, uh, you know, ringing sensation in her brain that's made her not to be able to sleep well. And the prayer was so much that when she, the program started, she was tempted not to come. But she made up her mind that she was going to come. Uh, she was tempted that she had satellite at home. She'd be watching the program. But she came. When she came on Thursday, the man of God mentioned her problem and prayed for her. And since that time, she got out with yesterday's prayer, she has been able to sleep very well. And every pain and all the ringing sensation her brain, everything has stopped. Praise the Lord! We listen to 
second testimony. the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have standing beside me a Sukwo edit. He had this eye problem. We, we call it Agmos. He blinks involuntarily that he cannot steady his eyes to see. This problem has been going on for years. But on Wednesday, the Lord touched him. He will give his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Jesus. My brother and sister, I want you to privilege to glorify God, worship God for what God has done in my life. I was having a high problem since one year and a half now. It happened when I was in the in the place of war, they just said, where yeah, I am working. I am a, a policeman from my profession. That's it started. And they sent me out. I can't long work working because it's eye, they can only use eye to do work. They find an eye, I can't have open my eye to do the work. They start to go at my head. Then I went to a federal medical center, Asaba, where I take treatment. They try all what they could, cool, everything I felt. They bring consultants for me to check me what happened to my eyes. They can't give me a solution. What the one uh, last say, he said, I will pay $250. They will put the drug for me that will help me so that I can be to see where. Praise the Lord. See that time? They wait for this. Thing. They said, no. And after they will come. What man then asked me, do you think this, is, this problem is a hospital uh, problem? Why can't you go to the church? I went to my region, Vasha. I told him he prayed for me. He detailed me for, for the prayer group. That we pray for me every time I have a prayer scene. That like this. When I come here, although last month I went to uh, Uyo for crusade. I went there, I come. They see it, it still continue. I heard that it is moving to Lagos. I said, I follow. I come down to Lagos. When I come to Lagos, then get to the gate, I get inside. If you like get to inside, then my mind said, no. They said, what are you to do? Evangelism. But this eye is to stop me. Then I ask God, God, I want to start doing your work. I stand there, I buy my, uh, uh, I call it my, uh, my microphone. That's my microphone, this thing. I buy this thing. Then I buy some tracks. That's how we use it. See that time, my eyes are to, look, because I used to use eyeglass. I'll tell the man that I bought the thing from him. I said, man, I'm trying to look at you just like that. He said, maybe your miracle has started. Believe God will do it. Since that time, since that good night, say, my eye, I love his book, my eyeglass. I go all around. Pray, my fellow Jesus. Praise the Lord. Please don't go anywhere. We still have more testimonies. Please listen carefully for what God has done. Let's hear the next testimony. After this testimony, we are going to have an opportunity to hear testimony online. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have standing before me and beside me the young man, George Insiobong. He has been bedwetting for 10 years, what we call enuresis. 
But on the 21st, when he got here, the Lord healed him. Please listen to his testimony. Praise the Lord. My name is Judah. I want to testify what the Lord has done to me throughout this global crusade on Tuesday. I came here with bedwetting, and it was so shameful because people see me, even around in school, they will tell me that at this age I'm still bedwetting. I felt like crying. So when I heard that there was going to be global crusade at Lagos, DLCC, I decided to come, and my daddy said that I should not go back with the problem that i should drop everything yeah that i will when I, they see me going home they will see me that i'm going home without bedwetting and i believe that i'm going home without bedwetting on tuesday after the prayer of the man of god i decided to check myself wednesday thursday friday saturday i didn't bedwet praise the lord the second testimony was about i had fever when i came to this crusade God healed me on Wednesday after the prayer of the man of God, and now I am healed. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We are hearing wonderful stories tonight. Our sister has been restored to sleep well in the night. Our brother's vision has been restored. And now this young boy has been bedwetting for more than 10 years. He's now restored. to listen to one testimony from one of the people that have been following us online. We begin online as we go to Philadelphia in the United States of America. And we have this coming all the way from the United States of America, Philadelphia to be precise, coming from Sister Bukola Olauluniyi, who is testifying of how God healed our mother during the crusade. According to her, she says, my mom was seriously sick when last The doctor told my brother that my mom's, my, my mom's condition is very bad and her case is, is that of 50-50. But during the prayer of her father, in the, he mentioned that there is someone in the hospital that will come out in Jesus' name. She received it and the prophecy worked for her because a mother walked out of the hospital free of Lassa fever. All glory to God. Amen. We now take you to India, where we have this testimony coming from Maharashtra in India. The testimonies, you will see them on your screen now. The first striking testimony, woman you see, she's 76 years old. A tumor developed on her neck. She didn't believe miracles happen. But as the man of God prayed in this program, right, that suddenly that tumor just disappeared. Her husband even tested after because he the other go to the hospital. But she came to the crusade, she believed, and that tumor disappeared after the final amen. And that's how God sets her free. Praise the Lord. The next person also from India on the screen right now, her own case, her name is Chizabi Zamachinaga. She had been a sinner for many years. And she never knew what it meant to be saved. But as a man of God led the salvation prayer, she gave her life to Christ. You can see her in tears. She says she now feels like she has a father. She's very, very happy. Praise the Lord. We have other testimonies online. And then this is coming all the way from Okehi region, Kogi State, here in Nigeria. We have the testimony of this brother who, according to the writer, was involved in the publicity, actively involved 
and on the first day of the crusade it was um, before the uh, the crusade commenced it was at his mechanic workshop working and he had a very severe accident he was working under a suspended vehicle which landed on him he went unconscious immediately however brethren were here at the crusade ground interceding on his behalf and after the prayer of the man of god he underwent an extra examination the doctor confirmed that there was no single fracture and right now the brother is up on his feet hail and hearty our god indeed is good Oluwadara. now we have this one coming from the JS Facebook page, Perpetual Cletus had her near for three years and fibroid. As the man of God prayed, something about the final amen. Her near vanished away. Fibroid dried up. Praise the Lord. We also have this other one from. question and blood pressure with other infirmities but when the power of god came down as the man of god ministered all those problems at one blow appeared praise the lord and then also telling how good our god is the testimony is coming from protagots this uh, brother was kidnapped by a ritualist after the crusade. And uh, while he was, that was while he was returning from the crusade, look, taken to a place he did not know. But miraculously, because our God is good, he was delivered from the den of the ritualist. And now he is back with his family. Praise the Lord. Finally, before we return to the moderator, we have this striking testimony from Olobo region, Ogun State. A baby, a woman, she was pregnant, carrying her baby. She listened to the GS message on Friday at the crusade. And she went back to the clinic in Iyanoyesi, Songwater, Ogun State, to deliver her baby. She was in a critical condition, we are told. The blood pressure was 250 over 140. In the process, unfortunately, the baby died in the womb. The doctor confirmed it. The owner of the hospital was on the WhatsApp platform of the church where the GS was uploaded and was listening online. And the owner of the hospital and the pregnant woman listened to the GS message. They believed God. And after the prayer of the man of God, that baby began to kick again. Miraculously, the baby came back to life. Praise the Lord. We now return to the moderator, sir. on social media let's return to our location here and listen to more testimonies praise the lord i have with me here okendirim esther Eight years ago she developed itching in her eyes and after the itching she discovered she couldn't read and see clearly so she was prescribed glasses. 
founders of the Cross Crusade. She got her, her testimony. Judge, praise the Lord. My name is Esther Okendrim Chikunaleren. I'm 15 years old. Um, um, group seven nearby from Inupeji Street. I'm here to thank God for His goodness upon my life. By the grace of God, I'm born. I, I'm since eight years. I've been e having eye problem, and this eye problem started when I was in primary four. It was during the class period that I couldn't see anything at all in the board. I was, my eye was so red and it was inching me. So I went, I went back home. I told my mom that my eye is paining me. I can't see the board so clear. So my mommy took me to the hospital. Then they recommended um, I not so effective. Then they said I should be using glasses. and. Since then, I've been using glasses to visit me at the wonders of the cross. On the last day of the wonders of the cross, God visited me. On Sunday evening, after the prayer of the man of God, God touched my eyes. I was about to remove my glasses. I said to remove the glass. I removed the glasses, but I see clarity. Everything was so clear. I can see the glass. Everything was just so clear. Praise the Lord. I'm going to make you read now so that we can prove you can read. Can you read this? I must say it unto the Lord. Oh, my Lord, I am not equivalent, neither henceforth nor since thou hast spoken unto Thank you thy very servant. Much. God bless you. As we rejoice with those who have received the touch of God, please let's remember what our Father and the Lord told us. We have to live a new life, a clean life, a life of righteousness, so that our miracle will be permanent. We're going to listen from the social media report of what God is doing on that sector. We have all the testimonies coming online. We'll take this one. This is coming from the GS official Facebook page who says that um, his wife could not uh, breathe last night because she was COVID-19 positive. She was told to bring her to the intensive care, but she connected to the program on YouTube. And while the prayer of, the, of her father and the Lord was good, she could not even say amen. She slept. And after she woke up, she started breathing normally. By this morning, the same woman who could not do anything stood up, went into the kitchen, and prepared a meal for the family. Our God is good. We now take you to South South Calabar live. Praise the Lord. Brethren, I want to thank God for the great things in this program. By the grace of God, I am Brother Eric Oduese. I'm born again. By the day two of the program, I have severe pains on my right uh, neck. Yeah. It was so much that I cannot turn. When the man of God said, Lay your hand from where you have the problem, I did. And a miracle, a miracle struck, I will feel completely in Jesus' name. 
I have Sister Kazim Olubomi with me here. A year, two months ago, she was involved in a road traffic accident. She broke her pelvis, she had surgery, and since then she's been walking with crutches. She has severe waist pain, she will give her testimony. This night, the Lord touched her. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Kazim Oluwagumi Senami. I'm from Oluwalogban District, Ketsu, Lagos. Last year, October 29th, I left home. I went to the market and um, trying to cross to the other side. I never knew a truck was coming because the truck was coming on one way. I stepped on the road and I heard something crushing me. And before I could see it, I was in the middle of the road and um, this leg was somehow, I had pelvic fracture, my tie was broken and um, I was rushed to the hospital. When I got to the hospital, even the doctors, everybody were like, how did you survive the accident? It was a truck. So I went for surgery, yes, and yes. since then, I've not been able to walk without crutches. Even I was on wheelchair for some time, and um, I started using crutches. So I can't stand for a long time because of the pelvic fracture. I've been here since Monday, and I've been praying to God that touch me, let me drop this thing. But tonight, as the pastor was praying, the pastor has not finished praying. I just felt that I could stand on this leg very well. I walked from that place to this side without crutches. And I was walking, I was not feeling any pain. And the doctors were like, they would do surgery on my pelvic. And the pelvic came back to itself without surgery. The bones joined together and everything was just fine. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. We have so many testifiers, but time has failed us. So, what we're going to do now is to allow all the recipients of God's touch tonight to kind of have a parade on the altar of God as a way of giving the glory to the Lord who has touched them. Because we testify individually as we normally would. All these people you are seeing sense of the power of God tonight. As this is going on, we are also flashing all the testimonies we have online, on social media. We are parading them on social media. If you have access, you will see all the miracles that God did put to us online. God has done wonderfully. We can count our blessings. There are many. Praise the Lord. 
Our time has failed us. So we have to round off this program. We wish you had more time to celebrate everything that God has done. So now prayers.